Hello again. Uh, back on my bed, same position. I fixed the light, I think. So, um, yeah, I'm sitting here now. It's kind of comfy here. I like it. Uh, I just watched um, uh, my the second Best Picture nominee uh, for my for the nine one time I'll be watching. Uh, Philomena, which I was meant to watch. Um, uh, yesterday is the is the word I'm looking for, but the projector in the room, in the uh, in in uh, at the at the cinema was uh, was broken, so they had to cancel it. But I start today, and um, it um should I should be doing this while on camera. That's unprofessional, like reviewing a movie on a bed. Um. Now, uh, with American Hustle, which I reviewed uh, before this, I complained that the movie didn't feel... Like, the movie was good. It's a good movie. It wasn't best picture good. Now, Philomena. Now, that's a big... That's a best picture nominee right there. This is what I'm looking for when I, when I look at the Academy Awards best picture nomination list. Holy shit, this movie was amazing. Um... A bit oddly marketed, but, but good. Um, okay, like 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 I mentioned that the um, for the officers, I won't be, I won't be spoiling anything, so don't worry about that. Uh, the marketing, like the posters, is all is all like, hey hey, check out this new comedy, and the trailers are like kind of goofy and funny. And yeah, it's it got some quite comedic elements to it, but it's not that. It's not your normal type comedy. It's much more of a drama. Um, of course, uh, based on the uh, true story of Phil Philomena Lee, who um, uh, uh, the Catholic Church uh, took away her, the child from, uh, her child from her at the age of five, and uh, now 50 years later, she's uh, looking for him. That's the premise, and uh, follows her and the journalist telling her story, and uh, oh, Judy Dench. I mean, I I love Judy Dench. You you cannot not. You cannot not love. You, you have to love Judy Dench. I can't speak today. Uh, I blame it being in the middle of the day. I normally do these videos at night. Uh, you can't like you have to love Judy Dench. Like she's just amazing, and she's she's just she's she's on top in this movie. This is possibly the best I've seen her in, and she's been quite amazing, you know, as playing the queen or or M or basically any role she's played, and this might be her best role. It's absolutely fantastic. Um. The directing is really good, the pacing is great, the comedy works really well, and perhaps the best in terms of marketing, um, the trailers don't ruin the movie at all. The trailers spoil nothing. At least, at least that's the trailer I saw. The trailers, they don't ruin the movie, they don't prepare you for what will happen in the movie, they just show some good scenes, they show the, the basic premise. And they're doing what a trailer should do, and I really like that. Because I'm, I'm tired of, like... Like, for example, the uh, Nonstop, the new... Going on a tangent here. Uh, Nonstop, the new Liam Neeson movie. It's not out here yet, I know it's out in the US. Uh, that movie... Uh, the trailer for that movie basically shows the entire movie. It, like, shows, like, six different plot twists in a two-minute trailer. Don't do that. That ruins the movie. Um, <laughs> but uh, no, this movie, this movie did some, some something really good with this marketing because it didn't. It, it it understood that uh, the story needed to be told, the way it's told, and it's it's quite amazing. Uh, it's it's really really good. Uh, got some very depressing moments, and I can I can understand why the um the Catholic Church of Ireland. Uh, was not a fan of the movie, 
they were very critical, saying that the movie painted Catholicism, Catholicism in a bad light, and I will disagree. And now, granted, I'm not a believer myself, but um, I don't think they painted Catholicism in a bad light. I think they painted a specific church in a bad light, for a damn good reason, given what they did. They were, the, the movie isn't anti-religion uh, or anti-Catholicism, it's anti-bad people, which is a different thing. But you know, people will whine when they whine, because why not? Um, I'm not sure what else to say. Uh, I really love this movie. Like th this is what I like. This is this is raised the bar. This is really raised the bar for the other um, Oscar nominations. Um, and I'm looking forward to finding out if I like the other ones just as much. Uh, let's see the next one. Oh, which one's the next one I'm watching? Uh, I don't have a I don't have a schedule here, but um. I think it might be Captain Phillips. I'm not sure. I don't remember. But we'll see. And, um... Uh, yeah. Go see Philom... If it's still in theaters, go see Philomena. If it's not, then, well, we should be out on Blu-ray, Netflix, or DVD, or other on-demand services uh, soon enough. And I highly recommend it. Highly recommend it. This is... I think I might actually go see it again. That's how highly I recommend it. Um, now I'm gonna go watch something else. Well, not right now, but in a bit. And I will see you with whatever that is. If it's Captain Phillips or something else. I don't know. We'll see. I should probably write down a list of what I'm watching so I can give proper expectations on these videos. But, uh, yeah. See you later.